in this video we'll talk about Venry or Vanner token. Uh, we basically had um, a few videos on it so far. The first one on December 11th, then January 29th and 18th of February. And basically, we had some really good moves on it so far. Since then, most of the volume has moved off chain, and I'll show you what some of the wells are doing, some on chain analysis. Definitely worth checking out. Obviously, no financial advice, just random dude on the internet, you know the drill. You can see that in the last two days we have a little bit more dumping before we didn't really have a lot, but now we have a lot of dumping going on. <coughs> Ooh, I was snooze, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, what is going on after that? Um, the first thing is the daily volume right now is 43 mil. Compared to a market cap that's 34% volume to market cap, which means every three days, <coughs> Venner does its whole market cap. I just got a, I want to pick two or three trades before I head out. We're going to explain a little bit. And um, I want to check Venner. So let's just get right into it. Before that, I just want to point out that a lot of people are charging two or three grand for. Uh, actual programs and what uh, you notice is my program is just hundred and twenty seven dollars that's all it is and the idea is that I want to make it super accessible for everyone so no matter where you are in the world um, you can learn how trades are how whales are trading so basically they're not really looking at charts as much as you would think they're looking at on-chain data fundamentals what's going on What's the narrative and stuff like that? So I teach all of this with proof. So every lesson pretty much is a life case study, life case study, life case study. And I'm adding more lessons, maybe other, every other day or something. I'll add a, a new lessons around a uh, lesson around a trade that I would take. So that's it. Let's start. Link in the description below for all of this. If you want to stop getting rugged. So the first thing we want to see is yes, we have a lot of dumping going on in the last few days. That's not bullish, that's actually bearish. I'll rearrange it like so, so you can see everything perfectly. Moving frame, and let's talk. So, it doesn't get more transparent that I try not to edit my videos. Uh, out so you see the exact thought process that I go through without the sneezing hopefully so we do have I, I understand that there's a lot of dumping but look at this buying pressure buying pressure less sales on this volume bar right here less sales here in general it's just been very strong even this pump right here is very strong and it's retesting this high and that's on the Binance where Binance we're checking out Binance because most of the volume is on Binance like 50% so, look, this is definitely a buying opportunity here. We have a buying opportunity here. So these two levels are definitely a levels that you can buy off of. And that's why we retested it. Look, the first time we broke out of it, went back for a retest, we actually printed a higher high. That's a few 9% and 5% scalps and 3% scalps. You could have made like 20, 30% just from trading this on the one hour during the Asia session. On the 15 minute, how would I trade this? Uh, on the 15 minute, I wouldn't buy. Look, I understand, we will probably pump right now because we have the, look, this was a strong buy candle. We are currently getting a very strong buy candle right here. So it actually makes sense to buy some also open up trading view. To see my charts there. I don't know if it has my latest loadout. It doesn't. So we'll edit a few things real quick. Had some other stuff. Hmm. 
okay let's do this so money flow on boundary usd here it is money flow look at this beautiful curvature especially if you use hekinashi definitely curving up we had this bearish one here look at this which each wave and now we have the bullish one and by the way that's very i would say accurate no financial advice look you have this wave momentum wave the next momentum wave you have lower red wave that's bullish here you have a lower one that's bullish bullish that's bearish but that's bullish so on the four hours especially for spot man this is really good look at this you have a opening below this money flow is harder than this one or lower so you have the second dump then here you have a buying opportunity because that's actually curving up here you have it's not the best time to buy here is a good time to buy and you buy and some of these scalps can yield pretty good returns so in general on spot this works really well and right now what i would do is i'll wait for a dump the reasoning behind it is we've just been too active man this pump is very strong we've overused this resistance right here we've overused it for a few pumps yes we can go for another all-time high but i'm i'm not super convinced that bitcoin will just keep pumping right here i need to add the one hour not super convinced that bitcoin will just keep pumping right here mm. So I would wait for a pullback to enter. The pullback that I would wait for, that's what, what kind of a pullback would I be waiting for? Well, this was a healthy pullback. Like if you want to be super technical, the best place to buy is was here. Look at this. First time having curves up. So here was a very good accumulation. Then you had good accumulation here. Uh, that was weak accumulation, but... And it was not a divergence. It was actually bearish. We dumped, pumped. Uh, as soon as money flow went above here, we were actually bullish. Here was a good accumulation area. Here was a good accumulation area. But here we are actually having a little bit of a weaker one. So I'm not super bullish on Vanry right now. Uh, but yeah, we can give it a few days, some room to breathe, and we'll decide. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Love you, Dom. My heart. See you next one.